What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So today I've got a bit of a reality check for you. And we're going to be going over one of the new sister weapons, the Tenant Tetra. I've gotten a lot of comments about how this thing is the best gun in the game, it's better than the Kuvazar, it's better than the Tenant Envoy, all this stuff. And I, I just, I have to burst your bubble. It, it's unfortunate I have to burst your bubble like this, but it's coming guys. Before we get into it, Make sure you hit that sub button if you're not subbed already, and make sure you check out the live stream channel. There will be a live stream later tonight, and a couple more this week as well. All right, so the Tenant Tetra, what is this thing? We're also going like, to just do like a build guide and all that stuff. All right, so the big thing that everyone's saying, oh, this is the best gun in the game, it's the best gun in the game. People who are saying that need to basically realize that this thing is clearly bugged, if you ask my personal opinion. So the reason that this thing is bugged it's first up, well, the Tetra is an auto rifle. You know, these fires bullets quit pretty quickly. Uh, you know, pretty standard stuff for like a gun. We've got the Tenant Tetra though, which has a grenade launcher. This grenade launcher is a different fire mode you can switch between. So we've got the base auto mode right here, 28% crit chance, 2.2 multiplier, five fire rate, 80 magazine, 2.2 reload, 30% status chance. And it's mostly a puncture focused weapon with 60 damage total. There's the alt fire on the tenant version, so the normal Tetra does not have this. This is going to be a grenade launcher, which uses all of your ammo in your entire magazine. You cannot fire it unless you have, uh, well, there's some ways to get around it. But normally you cannot fire it unless you have an entire magazine of ammo here. And it's got 20% crit chance, 2.2 multiplier, slow fire rate, uh, basically the same stats, a little bit faster reload. But look at this down here. The range on the explosion is 8 meters, and the damage fall off is 0%. As of the recording of this video on the 13th of July in 2021, this is the only weapon in the entire game that is an AoE gun with 0% damage fall off. Think about that. How many AoE guns do we have? I'm going to guess 30, 40, maybe even 50. Every single gun has damage fall off. And if you don't know what damage fall off is in this game, basically watch what I'm doing right here. I'm shooting off the grenade launcher. And from the direct point of impact where the explosion expands from, most weapons, well, literally every weapon in the game besides this one, will do less damage the further away it is from the impact of the explosion. So since this weapon has 0% damage fall off, the entire explosion gets full damage. That's going to mean if you're doing 100 munitions, you're going to get the highest damage 100 munitions proc everywhere, no matter where the explosion hits. So this is the only weapon in the game that does not have any damage fall off. And in my opinion, this is clearly a bug. And that's unfortunate because that makes this weapon, if this does get fixed, it makes the weapon a little bit worse. Although I'd say this weapon is still really good and I would recommend that you get it. But I probably wouldn't recommend that you 5 format unless you really need the mastery rank out of it. Because once this thing gets bug fixed, it's just going to be a Kuva Tonkor with a crappy auto rifle taped to it. Which is basically what it is right now. But there's some, there's some hope here. So... The grenade launcher actually has very high base damage. So we're looking at about 1,000 base damage uh, just at base. Keep in mind, that's not counting the Kuva bonus, which gives you uh, up to 60% additional uh, base damage in the elemental of your choice. And with this build, we've gone with a toxin roll. I've only got 43% toxin currently. Um, but let's take a quick look at comparing this to some other Kuva weapons. So like I said, very high base damage right now. And the primary fire actually has pretty good stats too. Pretty high crit chance. Pretty high stash chance, decent crit multiplier, low fire rate to be fair, but this actually is pretty good for a full auto assault rifle. The secondary shot right down here, 1,000 base damage at base. And remember, if you are like scaling this with a Kuva bonus, it's actually going to be pretty hard hitting. If you look at something like the, the Tenant Envoy, the Tenant Envoy has a better crit multiplier, but as far as the explosion damage is concerned, uh, we've actually got like another like 300 and something base damage on the explosion with the Tetra. So very hard hitting there. Um, but as you can see right here, 80% damage fall off on the Tenant Envoy versus the zero on the Tenant Tetra. Some other weapons we can quickly look at here. Let's look at things like the Tonkor, which I'd say is a very comparable weapon to this, as it reloads after every shot on the explosion just like this thing. We've got a uh, better crit chance, better crit multiplier on the Tonkor, uh, better reload. Reload's very important on this thing, I'd say, because you're expending the entire magazine uh, per shot, unless you use something like Energized Munitions. 70% damage fall off and 674 explosion base damage. Uh, versus the thousand. So this thing actually has some of the highest explosion base damage, um, even even more than the Kuva Brahma, to be honest. So that's actually really nice. Um, Kuva Zar as well, like 
Sim similar situation here, but as you can see, everything's got damage fall off. This thing doesn't. I, I think, guys, you got to wake up from your dreamland. It's too good to be true. I, I wish that we didn't have damage fall off either, but it, it's the reality of it. People paying like 15,000 plat for God roll Tetra ribbons. I, I hope that you're going to like it after the damage fall off as well, because I would feel really bad for you if you bought a 15,000 plat God roll Tetra ribbon uh, with a 0.5 dispo weapon, and we're just like, well, I, I, I didn't know it was a bug. Like, come on. Use your brain here a little bit. Everything else has damage fall off. This thing doesn't. Here's some gameplay footage of the full auto fire right here. Actually, very, very nice for a full auto assault roll. Keep in mind, this is with no Riven mod. I do have a Riven mod we can quickly show in the Simulacrum. But, um, yeah, Hunter Munitions Viral, very good with this weapon. Um, and let's quickly show the build. Now, like I said, I think reload speed is very, very important on this thing. As when you use the secondary fire... Uh, there's a couple things that go on. Actually, reload speed is just a multifaceted good stat on this thing. So let's just quickly show the build that we're using in the footage right here. Um, so we're going to be using Primary Merciless. I'd say the best arcane for getting base damage. 360% increase base damage if you get some kills. Uh, we've got no serration on the build here. This is because it's a Hunter Munitions focused build. You could technically take some of this stuff off. Maybe take off Prime Fire so you're not using the Alt Fire, which I highly recommend using, at least at this current time. Um... We've got, uh, you no know, Galvanized Chamber. I'd say this is, you will basically put this in every primary weapon from now on, as long as you have it. Um, critical Delay is basically, it, it is the new meta, guys. Like, just use it. The minus 20% fire rate really doesn't feel that bad. Uh, and since we got Toxin Roll, we only need one cold mod to get the viral. And I'm going with a 60-60 mod here to just get it so we get more consistent viral procs. You could run Prime Cryo Rounds if you want more elemental damage, giving you a good chunk of extra stuff, but losing 18% status chance. Uh, Band of the Grenier, this double applies to slash procs. Very important here. And like I said, Prime Fast Camp, I'd say this is a very important mod here. If we take this thing off, it's like 2.2 .2 reload, I believe. Um, and, you know, that that's 1.7. Keep on, that is with Primary Merciless. You take Primary Merciless off, you're getting even less. So it goes all the way up to 2.2. .2. So I recommend running that. Primary Merciless also gives you some reload speed when it's fully maxed out. So really nice stuff there. Um, and we've got Vital Sense, Crit Damage. One of the best mods in the game. I mean, it just it's Crit Damage. And Hunter Munitions. 30% chance on crit to give you a slash proc. If you have a crit chance riven, even though this thing has really low stats, you can get above 100% crit chance. 101 with this try stat with a negative. Um, that will make it so you have a 1%, well, at least with this riven, 1% chance to orange crit, and then with the vigilante bonus, give, this is very important as well, giving you a bunch of extra ammo. So you can keep picking up ammo, firing your shots off, because this thing will chew through ammo real quick. And we are using the squirt gun skin from uh, Dog Days. You don't need to use that, of course. So here, here's, here's why... Uh, reload speed is really important. Now watch this. I'm going to fire up a couple shots of normal fire. If I want to switch to the semi-auto, we must reload. So if you don't have reload speed, switching between them uh, is actually not that fast. And it's going to give you an, extra, an entire extra second of reloading, which, you know, in the fast-paced nature of this game, you don't want that. You want to be able to spam this. Um, even if it does get the bug fix to the uh, AoE, you definitely want to make sure you can spam it. It's, it's a top priority for you. So let's show energized munitions real quick. Um, now, keep in mind, Energized Munitions is an ability that will give you basically ammo efficiency. It's a weird stat we don't really have many instances of in the game, but basically 75% ammo efficiency. You're not going to eat as much ammo every time you fire it off, and since this thing expends the entire magazine in one shot, it's kind of the way you can cheese uh, the, the explosion. So let's use Energized Munitions with Mirage. So yeah, as you can see, we can fire this off multiple times now, and the DPS actually is really crazy. So... I, I hate, I really don't like being that guy that's like, uh, well, it's bugged. I'm going to go tell DE. Like, that's not what it's like. I'm just, I'm being realistic, guys. Why why would this weapon, out of all weapons in the entire game, have no damage fall off on the alt fire? It makes no sense. Um, it's cool that we had this bug, but keep in mind, just look at the update. They, they're they not letting us use scatter justice on the Kuva heck. They're, the, the galvanized condition overload for gun mods don't even work. Are you really going to try to tell me that you seriously think this thing is not... This is intended right here. The description of the weapon doesn't even say anything about the damage fall off either. It just says, you can now alt-fire the clip as a large raid burst radius. It doesn't say no damage fall off. That's something that's big and important enough that they would definitely say, oh, there's no damage fall off on this thing. So, yeah, um, unfortunate, but like I said, it's a good weapon. Um, even with, with if they did get, like, let's say you got like 80% damage fall off. Pretty standard for a lot of weapons. It would still be really good. Um, and the ribbons, like, I don't think I'd really buy a ribbon for this thing personally. Uh, but I already had one, so might as well just use it. Let's quickly show it with the, the Riven build real, real quick. Uh, and we can call it a video. Basically, 
yeah, go toxin rule. I'd say it's really easy to get that, that viral. Um, you could definitely. The, the nice thing about toxin, it's very versatile. You can go for corrosive. You can go for uh, gas damage if they ever fix that. Gas damage is kind of trash right now. Um, and you know, viral as well. Viral hunter is one of the best scaling builds in the game. Oh, I guess we're just gonna get the ten viral procs from our sentinel real quick. So you know, that was like four bullets. And this is a negative damage to near ribbon. So now pretty good, pretty good. And we're not really using any buffs. This is with arcane merciless not even stacked up. So let's stack up arcane merciless real quick. So as you can see, like, hundred and something thousand slash procs, like, even at the edges of the explosion, that's not really something that is practical. Like, well, it's practical right now, but I'd say give this a week and it will not be, it will not be the god gun that you guys are claiming it is. And I'm not pretending, I'm not going to pretend like it isn't good right now. It's very good right now. Um, and this thing that we're doing right here, we're just getting the headshots with the, the uh, auto rifle, that's not getting nerfed at all. That will not get nerfed at all. Um, that right there, that will get nerfed. But the thing is, the damage numbers won't get nerfed. Just the AoE damage falloff will get nerfed. So if you hit an enemy at the middle of the explosion, they're still going to take the full damage they're taking right now, and it will still be really good with that really high base damage. The Tenet Tetra is nice, but I would, I'm, me personally, I'm going to stick with the Envoy, I'm going to stick with the Brahm, I'm going to stick with the Tsar, um, and, and, until, like, you know, maybe they buff some of the other Arcanes. Maybe, maybe Primary Deadhead could get a buff where it's like, well, uh, people weren't using it, people were using Merciless, so we're going to buff Deadhead, and maybe Deadhead become the new meta after that, so... Yes, yeah, so hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you next time. Um, as far as recommendations for this, yes, I would recommend it. But, you know, if you are someone that doesn't like to have their things nerfed after they put investment into it, I mean, five form to get the max mastery of this thing, you could probably wait on it a little bit. There's no real rush to get this unless you want to, to use the no damage fall off version of it right now. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Um, and on later tonight on stream, hit me up. We'll farm some new arcanes and all that kind of stuff. Take it easy. Peace.